this is dr shankar from department of physics uh, in today's presentation i am going to discuss about uh, question bank uh, on module 1 uh, crystal structure so the uh, in this presentation i will cover this part a so analytical questions so the first uh, analytical question uh, in uh, module 1 is uh, calculate the number of atoms for unit cell of a metal with lattice parameter 2.9 angstroms given molecular weight 55.85 kg per meter cube density is 7870 kg per meter cube and avogadro number is 6.023 into 10 power 26 per kilo mole so this is a uh, numerical problem and we have to solve this and we have to calculate the number of atoms per unit cell of this uh, lattice okay so always we start with the given whatever is given uh, so given here lattice parameter so lattice parameter is given so lattice parameter a is given as 2.9 angstroms and molecular weight m molecular weight m is given so that is uh, 55.85 kg per meter cube and density is also given density rho is given as 7870 kg per meter cube and we know the avogadro number avogadro number na is 6.023 into 10 power 23 generally but uh, per mole but here we are taking per kilo mole so that is why we are taking as uh, 10 power quantities so these are the inputs given and we need to calculate the number of atoms per unit cell so that, that is the question so number of atoms per unit cell per unit cell so this is the question so we need to calculate z so that is number of atoms per units so we are going to use the formula so the formula is uh, density we know the formula for density so for density rho is equal to z into m by n a into v so this is the formula for density okay so from this formula we are going to derive number of atoms per unit cell z so that z is number of atoms per unit cell so we want z so z uh, is equal to rho into n a into v by m so this is the formula where v is volume okay so v is volume which is a cube for this cubic lattice okay and then Na is Avogadro number, we know Na and M is molecular weight, right? So we have mentioned here Na is Avogadro number and M is molecular weight. So we want Z, so Z is equal to N rho into Na into V by M. So we, we are writing volume in terms of lattice constant. So Z is, Z is number of atoms per unit cell. So number of atoms per unit cell number of atoms per unit cell is z unit cell is z so that is rho into n a rho into avogadro number into volume is a cube divided by m so by substituting all the values of um, rho which is density rho avogadro number density avogadro number and lattice constant a okay lattice parameter a and molecular weight we are going to get the answer Okay, you can substitute all the values. Okay, for example, rho is given here 7870. Okay, 7870 into 6.023 into 10 power 26 into A. A is given as 2.9 angstrom. So 2.9 into 10 power minus 10 cube divided by M. Molecular weight is given as 55.85. Okay, by substituting all the values, we will find Z. Okay, Z as two point something, so we can round it off as two. 
Okay, so the, for, for the given input values, uh, the number of atoms per unit cell Z is equal to, and the given lattice is PCC lattice because uh, Z is equal to 2. The number of atoms per unit cell is 2, the given lattice, so the given lattice is a BCC lattice. So we have calculated the number of atoms per unit cell and then we found out that the number of atoms per unit cell is 2 and hence we know that the number of atoms per unit cell is 2 only for a body centered cubic lattice which is BCC lattice. So let us go to the next uh, numerical problem on this uh, module 1 crystal structures. So in this problem basically we have calculated the number of atoms per unit cell okay, using the formula of density. So we will go into the next problem. Problem 2. Okay, so the problem 2 is chromium has BCC structure, its atomic radius is uh, 1249 nanometers, okay, 1249 nanometers. Calculate the free volume per unit cell. Okay. So we need to calculate the free volume per unit cell. So, given is BCC structure, so they have mentioned that the given uh, structure is BCC structure, okay. So, given, uh, given that uh, the structure chromium, chromium has BCC structure. So, they have mentioned that chromium has BCC structure and then they have mentioned the atomic radius atomic radius r is mentioned as 1249 nanometers okay so we need to calculate free volume free volume per unit cell okay so that is the question okay yeah so we are going to use uh, we know that given uh, 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 atom uh, material has bcc structure uh, we know that BCC is as atomic packing fraction, atomic packing fraction of BCC is 68 percentage. That means BCC lattice 68 percent of the volume is occupied by the atoms and remaining 38, 32 percentage is free one. So free, so this is occupied by atoms. And unoccupied space or void space, percentage of void space or fraction of void space. I am writing fraction. So they have asked us free volume. So fraction of void space or void space is also called as free space or free space is 0 0.32. So this much of fraction is free in BCC. Okay. So now we are we need to calculate the volume. Okay, so for BCC volume for BCC or simple cubic lattice or face center cubic lattice volume is AQ. Okay, so we need to calculate free volume. So free volume is 0 0.32 into AQ. So this is the free volume. Okay. So free volume. So free volume is 0 0.32 into AQ. So we need to know A. If we know this lattice parameter A, we can calculate this free volume. So to find out A, I am going to use this atomic radius. For BCC, uh, for BCC atomic radius R is equal to square root 3 by 4 into A. Okay. So from this formula, I can calculate, I can use this equation to calculate A. So that is 4 R divided by square root 3. So I know value of uh, atomic radius, right? So I can substitute the value of R. So that is 4 into 1, 2, 4, 9 nanometers. I can convert into meters, but um, yeah, so divided by square root. Okay. So I get the value of uh, um, A and then once I substitute in free volume in this formula, if I substitute the value of this A here, 4 into 1 to 1249 divided by square root 3 into 10 power minus 10, whole cube, then I am going to get the free volume and the free volume is 7.676 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube. Okay. 
Okay. So this is what I am going to get. So the free volume of the given BCC chromium is 7.676 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube. Okay. So in calculating this free volume, first I need to know what is the atomic packing fraction of the BCC body center cubic lattice. Because I know the atomic packing fraction of body center cubic lattice structure as 68 percentage, from that I, I know what is the percentage of void space. Atomic packing fraction means the space that is occupied by atoms. So the space that is occupied by atoms is, if the fraction is 0 0.68, the remaining free space is 0 0.32. Because the total space, total volume is a cube of 1. Okay, so 0 0.32, so then the free volume will be 0 0.32 into A. But I do not know what is the value of A, but I have, they have given as atomic radius. So using the formula of atomic radius for BCC, square root 3 by 4 into A, I can calculate A, which is 4R by square root 3. And once I know the value of A, I am going to substitute the A in this free volume formula, and I got the answer as 7.676 into 10 power minus 3 meter. So this is the um, uh, free volume uh, per unit cell in this um, chromium, uh, which has BCC uh, structure. <coughs> so, let us go into the next problem. So, the next problem is <coughs> copper as FCC structure and the atomic radius is 1.278 angstroms. Calculate the density of copper crystal. Given atomic weight of copper is 63.5. Okay. So, solution to calculate this um, density of copper crystal they have given uh, given copper as fcc structure first they mentioned that copper as fcc structure copper has fcc structure okay so that is one point and then they have given atomic radius Radius is given, radius is given, R is equal to 1.278 angstroms. Okay, so we can convert into meters also that. And then atomic weight is also given. So atomic weight, atomic weight or molecular weight is given as 63.5. We need to calculate density. What is the density of this copper which has FCC structure? So, we know the formula of our density, right? So, density formula rho is Z into M by Na into volume, so which is A cube. So, this is the formula for density. Okay, Na is Avogadro number, Z is number of atoms per unit cell, and M is molecular weight. Okay. So, we have already know FCC structure. FCC is for FCC structure, Z number of atoms per unit cell is 4. So, we know Z and they have given M molecular weight and we know the Avogadro number and they have given radius. So, we need to calculate A using radius. Okay. So, for FCC, for FCC, the atomic radius R is equal to A by 2 square root 2. Okay. From this formula, I can calculate A which is R into 2 square root 2. So, if I substitute the value of R here, I will get A. So, what is R? R is given as 1.278 into 10 power minus 8 R. If we can substitute directly as angstrom 2 into square root 2. So, that is 3.614 angstroms. So, this is R. Once I know, so this is lattice constant or lattice parameter A. Once I know the value of A, so I can substitute all the values in density formula. Rho is equal to, I know Z, Z is 4. I know M 63.5 and Na is 6.023 into 10 power 26 into A. A is 63.614 into 10 power minus 10 whole cube. Okay. So then uh, total density I will get as 8.92 into 10 cube kg per meter cube. So this is the solution. <clears throat> so, we have calculated here the density of the copper which has FCC structure with the given parameters of atomic radius and uh, atomic weight. Okay, So, we find out that the density of this uh, copper uh, which has FCC structure is 8.92 into 10 power 10 cube kg per meter cube. Okay. So, let us go to the next problem. 
so the next problem is show that this is show that show that in a simple cubic lattice the separation between successive lattice planes 1 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 are in the ratio of 1 0 1 is to 0 0.7 1 is 0 0.5 okay so we need to show that this cubic lattice has planes and the separation between the planes is in this ratio of 1 is to 0 0.7 1 is 0 0.5 okay so we need to show this okay so whatever they have given uh, they have given just planes they have given planes lattice planes uh, 1 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay so lattice planes these are h k l okay h k l and h k l okay we need to find out the separation so the separation the separation between successive lattice planes is given by d separation between lattice planes successive lattice planes successive lattice planes d is equal to a by square root h square plus k square plus l square so this is the formula so for, first we need to find out this uh, separation for the first plane okay so that is d 1 0 0 for this plane a by square root h is 1 so 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square so that is a and next plane so d 1 1 0 d 1 1 0 we need to calculate a by square root 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 so this is h k l right so h is for this plane 1 1 0 plane h is 1 k is 1 and l is a so that is a by square root 2. d 1 1 1 plane so that is a by square root 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. So that is a by square root. So if we write the ratio of these, uh, the separation between these planes, the ratio will be d 1 0 0 is to d 1 1 0 d 1 1 1 will be equal to if all in all these three we have a common, so that take it out. So 1 is 1 by square root 2 is to 1 by square root 3. So that is nothing but 1 is 0 0.71 is 0 0.5. Okay. So this is uh, so we have proved here, uh, we have we have shown that the ratio between the uh, ratio of this uh, between the successive parallel planes, lattice planes, is same as they have mentioned. Okay. So we have sh showed that successfully. Yeah. Okay, let us go to the next problem. Okay, so the next problem in this uh, module is find the Miller indices of a set of parallel planes which makes intercepts in the ratio 3 is 4b on the x and y axis and parallel to z axis, a, b, c being primitive vectors of the lattice. Okay, so we need to find the Miller indices, right? Okay, so we need to find the Miller indices. So, first start with given. Uh, they have given that uh, intercept, given intercept, they have given intercepts is 3a is 4b along x and y and these planes parallel to z axis. parallel to z axis that means intercept is infinite if a plane is parallel to if a plane is parallel to any other play, uh, axis if a plane is parallel to any axis then the intercept is infinite okay so now we have they have given intercept right so intercept i am writing as p is q is r First, we need to write the intercept to find out the Miller indices. So, P is Q is R is equal to 3A is 4B is infinite. So, these are the intercepts. Okay. So, now I am going to write the reciprocals of these intercepts. So, 1 by P, 1 by Q and 1 by R. So, the reciprocals, I am taking out the primitive vectors as unit vectors. So, I am taking them out. So, 1 by 3 
is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by infinite, right? So that is 1 by 3, 1 by 4, and 1 by infinite is 0. Okay. Once we write these reciprocals of these uh, intercepts, we are going to find out the LCD least mul uh, li uh, multiply with the least common denominator. So multiply with the least common denominator least common denominator. So when we multiply with least common denominator which is 12, I am going to get these uh, Miller indices as H, K, L as here I will get 4, 4, here I will get 3 and here I will get 6. So the Miller indices for these uh, set of parallel planes uh, that are making intercept along x and y axis and parallel to z axis, uh, the Miller indices are uh, 4, 3, 0. Okay. Always we need to write the Miller indices uh, in parentheses without any commas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let us go to the one more in, important point is that if a plane is parallel to any one of the coordinate axis, uh, then we are going to write the intercept uh, for that coordinate axis as infinite. Because if it is parallel, it is not going to make any intercept. That is why we write the intercept as infinite. Okay. <coughs> Let us go to the next problem. Okay, so the next problem in a triclinic crystal, a lattice plane makes intercepts of lens a, 2a, and minus 3c by 2. Find the Miller indices of the plane. Okay. Again, uh, they have asked us to find out the Miller indices, right? So given intercepts. So first they have given intercepts. Intercepts are given as a, 2b, and minus 3c by 2 along x, y, z axis. First, we are going to write the intercepts as P, Q, R. Okay. So, P, Q, R as A east, 2B east, minus 3C by 2. Now, reciprocals of the intercepts. So, 1 by P, 1 by Q, 1 by R. So, that is, these are given as primitive vectors. I am going to take it as 1. A, B, C, I am going to take it as unit vector. So, 1, 1 by 1, so 1, 1 by 2, and this is minus 2 by 3. Okay. So, then next step. So, first step, write the intercepts. Second step, write the reciprocals of the intercepts. Third step, multiply with least common denominator. Right. So, multiply with least common denominator. Multiply with least common denominator and put them as HKL, okay, in parenthesis, okay. So, if I multiply with least common denominator, what I will get is, okay, 6, so least common 6, and here I will get 3, and here I will get minus 4, okay. So, finally, writing Miller indices, writing Miller indices, Miller indices as HKL, which is without commas in parenthesis, 6, 3, minus 4 is written as 6, 4 bar. So, whenever we have a negative sign, that means uh, the in, uh, Miller indices, we are going to put a bar on the Miller, uh, Miller indices index corresponding to that axis. So, instead of minus 4, we are going to put as 4 bar. Okay, 4 bar. Okay, so these are the Miller indices for this uh, crystal with the given intercepts a comma 2b comma minus 3c by so let us go to the next problem. So the next problem is determine the spacing between 100 planes, 110 planes, and 111 planes in a nickel NaCl sodium chloride crystal having lattice constant of 5.64 angstroms. Okay. So we need to find out the spacing between the parallel planes, right? So they have given us that um, uh, planes they have given as well as lattice constant A as given as. 5.64 angstroms. Okay. First, we need to calculate the lattice spacing. So, spacing or separation between the parallel planes. Separation between parallel planes. D is equal to A by square root H square plus K square plus L square. First plane D 1 0 0 plane. So, A is given as 5.64 angstroms divided by 
h is 1, so 1 square, k is 0 square, plus l is also 0 square. So that means 5.64 angstroms. Next, d, we need to calculate d, uh, 110, 110, so that is 5.64 angstroms divided by square root 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square. Okay. So that will be 3.98 angstroms. Okay. So next parallel planes D 111. So that is 5.64 angstroms divided by 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. So that is square root 3. So that is equal to so D 111. This will be equal to 3.256 angstroms. Okay. So this is the yeah, so first. First, second, and third. Spacing between the planes given 100, 110, and 111. Okay. So using the uh, formula d is equal to a by square root h square plus l k square plus l square, where h, k, l are the Miller indices. Okay. So let us go to the next problem. <coughs> so next problem is eighth problem. Okay. So the eighth problem is. The distance between 110 planes in BCC is 0 0.2 or not 3 nanometers. Uh, calculate size of unit cell and radius of atom. Okay. Yeah. So they have given uh, BCC structure, the uh, lattice has BCC, the material has BCC structure, and the distance between the planes in this BCC, so D, is 0 0.203 nanometers. We need to calculate the size of the unit cell. So that is, we need to calculate the volume and radius of atom. So volume as well as radius of atom. So first we need to calculate volume, which is A cube. Volume is A cube. First we need to calculate A, right? So, yeah. So they have given D. So the equation for the uh, uh, distance between two parallel planes, the separation between two parallel planes, D is equal to A by square root H square plus K square plus L square. Okay. So from this, uh, yeah, so I can write it as A by uh, H for this planes, H is 1 and K is 1. So N 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square. Right. So D is given. Right. So I need to calculate A. Okay. So that is A is equal to D into square root 2. D is given as 0 0.203 into 10 power minus 9 meters into square root 2. So the A will be 0 0.287 nanometers. Okay. So once I find out A, so then I can calculate A cube volume, which is A cube. Okay, so volume is a cube. So 0 0.287 10 power minus 9 meters whole cube. So that will be 23.63 into 10 power minus 30 meter cube. Then I need to calculate radius of atom. BCC is there mentioned. So radius is square root 3 by 4 into A. So square root 3 by 4 into A is given 0 0.287 into 10 power minus 9. So that will be 0 0.124 nanometers. Okay. So for this given uh, lattice, PCC lattice, we have calculated um, uh, uh, lattice constant or lattice parameter A first using the distance between parallel planes. And then once we calculated this A, we have calculated the volume or size of the unit cell size or volume of the unit cell and then we have calculated the radius of atom using the formula of square root 3 by 4 into A for pieces. Let us go to the next problem. <coughs> so next problem will be 9th. Okay. So the ninth problem is a copper has FCC structure with atomic radius 0 0.1278 nanometers. Calculate the interplanar spacing for 111 and 321 planes. Okay. Okay. So they have given the atomic radius R as 0 0.1278 nanometers. Okay, nanometers. 
we need to calculate the interplanar spacing. So D for one 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 plane. So D is A by square root H square plus K square plus L square. So we need to know A to calculate D. So using the formula of FCC, FCC structure the radius is A by square root two. R is equal to A by square root two. So from this A is equal to R into two square root two. So we know the value of R zero point one two. Seven eight nanometers. Okay, so from this we can calculate a. So a is equal to zero point one two seven eight into ten power minus nine into two square root two. So we will find a as three point six one angstroms. Okay, once we get a, we are going to substitute here. So for three uh, d one 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 three point six one. Angstroms divided by square root one square plus one square plus one square. So that will be zero point two zero eight six nanometers for D one one one. Next, so D three two one again three point six one angstroms divided by three square plus two square plus one square. So that will be zero point zero nine six nanometers. Okay, so these are uh, this is the interplanar spacing or the distance between planes. So D one one plane, one 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 planes, and three two one planes, and we have used this uh, radius formula for FCC, right? Because FCC we know FCC for FCC structure, uh, the radius formula is a by two square root. So we need to know a. So r is equal to a by Two square root two, so a will be r into two square root two. Substituting the value of r, we'll get a, and then substituting the value of a in this uh, stiff uh, interplanar spacing formula, we calculate the distance between the parallel planes. Okay, so let us go to the last problem in this set. Okay, so the last problem in this set is potassium chloride is a FCC crystal having a density of one nine eight zero kg per meter cube. If its atomic Molecular weight is seven point seven seventy four point six. Calculate the distance from one atom to the next atom of the same kind. The distance between the adjacent atoms. Okay. So we need to calculate the distance between the atoms of the same kind, atoms of the uh, adjacent atoms. Okay. So first they have given given us uh, density. Rho is given one nine eight zero kg per meter cube. Molecular weight m is given seventy four point six. Okay. Now, so FCC face centered cubic uh, crystal. So FCC. Let me draw this FCC. Okay. So FCC. So face center. So atoms are here, here, here. Carbon atoms. So there are carbon atoms. Eight carbon atoms, and apart from these eight carbon atoms, so carbon atoms are potassium, for example, potassium, 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 potassium here, potassium here, potassium, potassium, and face center there is chlorine. Okay, so here there is one chlorine, here one chlorine, face center one chlorine, here one chlorine, here one chlorine, here one chlorine, here one chlorine. So the distance between the atoms of the same kind that is A. We know that this is a cubic lattice, and cubic lattice, the distance between us, uh, any two of the atoms, potassium atoms, is a, and the distance between the adjacent atoms, so potassium and chlorine. So this is actually a by two, right? So if we can calculate a, then we can we know the distance between the same kind and adjacent atoms. Okay. So using the formula of um, uh, rho density formula, so density formula rho is equal to J into m by N A into A Q, right? So from this formula we can calculate. Uh, we need to know A. So A is so A Q will be rho into N A. N A is Avogadro number divided by J into M. So A will be rho into N A divided by J into M power one by three. Okay. So substituting all the values. So rho we know. One nine eight zero. Any Avogadro number we know six point zero two three into ten power twenty six. Jadis FCC they have mentioned so FCC crystal Jadis four. 
molecular weight they have given us 74.6 so substituting all the values in this formula we'll find a as 6.3 angstroms and a by 2 so that is 1 is 6.3 angstroms and second one is a by 2 which is 3.15 angstrom so the distance between the at distance between the atoms of same kind is 6.3 angstroms and the distance between the adjacent atoms is 3.15 uh, angstrom because this is a uh, phase centered fcc phase centered cubic distal stretch okay so this is the last problem we have solved and uh, yeah we are going to start uh, with this and uh, in the next problem i will uh, discuss about the uh, uh, theoretical uh, questions of part b okay so there we have completed part a of module 1 and uh, these are some of the references uh, which we can use uh, to, to solve these problems and uh, yeah so we have solved the numerical problems uh, of module 1 and in the next presentation i will discuss the theoretical questions of the module 1 of question one. thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates